Hello, everybody. Today, I can answer perpendicular bisector multiple choice questions by understanding that the two top triangles are congruent, the two bottom triangles are congruent, and the big triangles on both top and bottom are isosceles. So let me show you what this means. If I have a perpendicular bisector, that means that this segment is being cut in half, these are right angles, and then based on reflexive property, this is congruent and this is congruent. So these two green triangles on top are congruent by SAS, and these two red triangles on bottom are also congruent by SAS. Since the green triangles are congruent, CPCTC says that any of the corresponding parts are congruent, so I can say that these are congruent, these are congruent, uh, these are congruent, and the same thing on bottom. Now, since these are congruent, it makes this yellow triangle isosceles, since it has two congruent sides and it has two congruent angles, and it also makes the purple triangle on bottom isosceles for the same reason due to CPCTC, these two sides are congruent, these two angles are congruent. So to sum up, the two top triangles are congruent and all their corresponding parts are congruent. The two bottom triangles are congruent and all their corresponding parts are congruent. And then the big triangle on top and the big triangle on bottom are both isosceles. You want your picture to look like this. I'm just going to erase it, got a little messy. But whenever you see perpendicular bisector, you want your picture to look like this. So it'll help you do what you got to do. So this one's giving you the picture. In the diagram below, it says that DE is the perpendicular bisector. So I know that all those things must be true. Angle ADC is congruent to angle BDC. Are those congruent? Yes, because these two top triangles are congruent, and due to CPCTC, those angles would have to be congruent. Choice two, EAC is congruent to DAC. No, I don't know that these two triangles are congruent. I know that the two top ones are congruent and the two bottom ones are congruent, but no, I don't know that. AD is congruent to BE. Those triangles have nothing to do with each other, so I don't know that. AE is congruent to AD. AE is congruent to AD. Again, those triangles have nothing to do with each other. This triangle is not isosceles. It's the top triangle is isosceles, and the bottom is isosceles, so this does not hold true. And your answer is choice one. So again, why is it choice one? Since I know that the two green triangles are congruent, that was a little too sloppy. Since I know that the two green triangles are congruent, and I know that the two red triangles are congruent, it said ADC is congruent to BDC, and since the green triangles are congruent, these are corresponding parts of those green triangles, which makes those congruent. Let's just do one more, uh, maybe two more. Number one, it says that EA is the perpendicular bisector of ZT. So I know that all of that must be true. And I know that the blue triangle is congruent to the blue triangle and any of the corresponding parts must be congruent. EA bisects angle ZET, well, that would make this congruent to this, and yes, those are corresponding parts of the congruent triangle, so they're congruent. Triangle EZT is equilateral. Well, I do know that these sides are congruent through CPCTC, which makes it isosceles, but no, I don't know that it's equilateral. EA is a median of triangle EDT. Well, a median creates two congruent segments, and yes, that one does. 
and angle Z is congruent to angle T. Well, since these are congruent triangles due to CPCTC, those are congruent, so that is true. Choice two is not. Let's do one more that has to do with uh, isosceles. I guess we can do, hey, let's do number five. If MT is the perpendicular bisector, then I know that these two triangles are congruent. And I also know that this top triangle is isosceles. So MAH is isosceles, MAH, triangle MAH is isosceles, yes. The big red triangle is isosceles. Uh, triangle MAT is isosceles. MAT is this one. No, we know that it's congruent to the one next to it, but I don't know it's isosceles. MT bisects angle AMH. Well, if AMH is bisected, then those are congruent. And yes, due to CPCTC of those two triangles being congruent, that's correct. Angle A and angle TMH are complementary. That's a little bit of a twist. Um, but yes, angle A and angle TMH, since angle A is equal to angle H, and since this is a right angle, these two angles would have to add to 90, so it's a little bit of a twist there. Uh, that is true. This one's not. So, basically, one more time, whenever you have a perpendicular bisector, you have a few things that happen. The two top triangles are congruent, so through CPCTC, any of the corresponding parts are. The two bottom triangles are congruent, so through CPCTC, any of the corresponding parts are. The big top triangle is isosceles, and the big bottom triangle is isosceles as well. That's it. See ya.